Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, September the 23rd, 2022. The fall season has officially begun. We'll tell you if the fall weather will be felt this weekend. We'll give you a preview of weekend happenings and we'll take you out to a feathery gathering in the Mississippi Sound. But first we begin at the parks. Work is underway at five city parks to install new recreation equipment. Severo, Pinzal McManus, Eagle Point, and Businessmen Parks are receiving new playgrounds. And Joseph O'Reilly Park will see the installation of a new workout equipment area and upgraded fitness equipment. There will also be a dog park added at Severo Park. Harrison County is handling the demolition of the playground equipment at the parks. The playground installation at Eagle Point Park should be wrapped up today. The installation of the new playgrounds and fitness equipment is being done by Pelican Playgrounds and all work is expected to be completed by the beginning of October. Earlier this week, Mayor Andrew Fofo Hillage met with some folks over at the Sanger Theater. The purpose of the meeting was to get ideas on making the inside of the theater an attractive venue for performances. Work also continues on the front of the building. The black covering has been removed and work is underway on the front doors and ticket booth. No timeline has been set for the interior work or the opening of the theater. Biloxi City Council met on Tuesday and discussed the municipal employee pay scale in addition to other items. To see a recording of this week's City Council meeting, just click on the City Council tab on the City's website at biloxi.ms.us and then click here. As the Mississippi State Department of Health continues to report COVID-19 cases, please remember if you feel sick, stay home, and if you have symptoms of the virus, get tested, then follow safety protocols to lessen the spread of the virus to others. For more information about vaccinations, links to appointments, and safety protocols, visit the city's website at biloxi.ms.us, or you may call the Mississippi COVID-19 hotline at 877-978 6453 to schedule a COVID-19 vaccination. The weather this weekend looks to be mostly sunny with a small chance of rain on Sunday. As for those temperatures, it looks like we will have to wait a little bit longer to feel the cool fall temperatures. This weekend we will see highs near 90 and lows in the 70s. On Saturday, the second annual Gulf Coast Shrimp Tasting Festival would take place at the Point Cadet Plaza from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be nearly two dozen local seafood restaurants on site as well as a classic car show. Tickets range from $5 to $25. Also on Saturday, Beauvoir will host a masquerade ball and the Joppa Shrine will host an indoor yard sale at the center on Shriners Boulevard. Then on Sunday, a game of Bonco will be played at the Bloxy Visitor Center. The event includes food and door prizes, and it benefits the Bechtel Free Health Clinic. Over at the casinos, Air Supply performs at the IP on Saturday. For more information about these events and to see a list of happenings throughout the month, check out the Bloxy Community Calendar in the September edition of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking here. We leave you today from the waterfront, where earlier this week, dozens and dozens of pelicans were enjoying the waterfront. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again next week.